we need this one again because it contains the the button for us to press. We need to pull out the key row, the second cell, and the attribute row, the second cell. Big shout out to British Rastogi, probably crucifying your name. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me know in the comments. Cheers. Welcome to new subscribers. Cheers, bye. Okay, so the data type is obstacle, as described in the problem. There's your obstacle alias, and then in your data search filter, you use the key that you discovered previously, and you use that as a constraint because you're looking things up, okay? So we did a little scanning, the button for creating data, the table itself that contains this stuff here, and then the result where you type it in and then click on the submit button. And the other one we need is TDS, TDS test data find and provide okay all right guys so we're now looking at test data in a service basically you click on create data and uh, it pulls back a key a key which you use a test data service find and then that returns an object, and then you give that object uh, the category attribute, and then you put the value in there. You can't do it quickly enough. So if we go back to Tosca, let's start some scanning. I'll do the scanning now. Give me give me one second. <clears throat> so take the row called key, select it, second cell, key buffer. Let's just see if that runs. No, oh, that seemed to work. That's great. Let's just go to project settings, engine, attribute, generate data first. Okay, that's cool. Seems to be working. So create data. We do that. Shall we run it again? See what happens? name and 2598 so now we know that's working okay the next thing we have to do is test data find and provide a record so I was scratching my head a little bit with this one create the data get your key get your mean time and then you get this error message and the error message is quite frustrating because it says multi-line input is not supported well it's multi-line because when we do the set data buffer, I set a buffer just with the return value. This is what we're getting back from the website. I just did a buffer, I call it debugging, and it's obstacle.key. It comes back as this key value pair. And we want to hit, I think it's age, okay? And the attribute variable contains the age. And I had done them as two separate uh, things, a TD and a buffer but we don't want that we want that obst dot whatever the attribute is and then we need to finish it off so let's try it one more time yes excellent all right guys um thank you